Question 1. What is the characteristic of all living organisms? For the seven life processes, I memorize it by using the mnemonic Mrs. Nurk. M is for movement, R for respiration, sensitivity, nutrition, excretion, reproduction, and also growth. So the answer would be sensitivity, which is D. Next question, the bonobo and the chimpanzee are two closely related species. What is the most accurate method of deciding how closely related species are? Closely related species would have similar base sequence. So the most suitable answer should be B, compare the base sequences of their DNA. Next question, scientists discover a new species of animal. It has a segmented body with two pairs of legs on each segment. To which group of animals does this new species belong? It should be myropods. The body of a myropod consists of many segments and each segment has jointed legs. The arachnids have four pairs of legs. Any segments are the cephalothorax and also the abdomen. But there are four, three pairs of legs on the cephalothorax and one pair of legs on the abdomen. So it can't be A since it doesn't fulfill the second part of the statement. It can't be crustacean and insects too. Crustaceans have five pairs of legs. Insects have three pairs of legs which are odd number of pairs pair of legs so it can be B and C too so the answer would be D my reports next question which part of a cell makes glucose a plant makes glucose by photosynthesis and photosynthesis takes place at the chloroplast so the answer should be B next question the diagram shows some of the blood vessels and other structures in the human body the blood vessels shown are all parts of the same. It should be parts of the same organ system. This is the circulatory cardiovascular system. As you can see from the diagram, all of the blood vessels are actually related to the heart. Organ system. Organ system is a, is a group of organs. With related functions. Working together to perform body functions. Next question, this photograph shows a plant cell nucleus measuring 2 mm across. If the magnification of the cell is 500, what is the actual size of the nucleus? Magnific the formula for this is magnification equals to image size over actual size. So the magnification is 500, image size is 2 mm, so the actual size would be 0 0.004 mm. So the answer is B. Next question, by which process do oxygen and carbon dioxide move between cells and capillaries? This is gas exchange. And it occurs by diffusion. So the answer is B. Next question. Which process is involved in uptake of glucose by the epithelial cells of kidney tubules? This is active transport. And another example of active transport would be the ion uptake by root hairs. 
active transport is the movement of particles from is the movement of particles through a cell membrane from region of lower concentration to a region of higher concentration using energy from respiration. So it does require energy it's from lower concentration to higher concentration. Next question, which element is found in proteins but not carbohydrates? Carbohydrates contain carbon, hydrogen and oxygen while proteins contain carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen and sulfur. So it should be nitrogen which is C. Next question, the sequence of the bases present on one strand of a DNA molecule is shown. Which sequence shows the bases present on the opposite strand? So you do know that A is complementary to T, G is complementary to C. This is something you should know. So you just match them together. A will bind to T, A, A, C, C, T, G, C, C, A, which is A, C. Next question, starch is digested by amylase in the mouth but it's not digested in the stomach. What is the reason for this? The stomach is actually extremely acidic because of hydrochloric acid. What this hydrochloric acid does is that it will help denature enzymes in harmful microorganisms. in food and it will also give the optimum pH for pepsin activity so the answer should be the B, the pH in the stomach it's not suitable for the amylase to work. Amylase have an optimum pH of 7, so it will be way too acidic for amylase to work. Next question, which statement about an enzyme controlled reaction is correct? The answer should be A. During the reaction, the substrate changes into products. An enzyme is not used up, can't be B. An enzyme was also not broken, can't be C. For D, the higher the temperature, the slower the reaction. It is not necessarily true. The higher the temperature, high temperature would increase the kinetic energy of molecules. So hence, there will be more collision. And hence, increase the rate of reaction. So D is also not incorrect. The answer should be a. Next question, a plant with striped leaves was kept in bright light for 6 hours. A leaf was taken from the plant and a chlorophyll was removed. The leaf was then tested for starch using iodine solution, which diagram shows the result of the test. So the green stripe contain chloroplasts, so photosynthesis will occur. it would give you a positive result while at the white stripe here there are no chloroplasts so no photosynthesis so it will give you a negative result iodine a positive result would change the iodine solution which is yellow brown to blue black so the answer should be a negative positive next question the graph shows daily carbon dioxide uptake and transpiration by the planet Agave Americana 
the plant is adapted to live in very dry conditions. So what can be concluded from this graph? I think it's kind of safe to assume that from here to here would be the light periods. Over here would be the light period. So the answer should be most tomata are closed during light periods. As you can see from the light periods, there are lower carbon dioxide uptake and there are lower transpiration rate. Meaning that there are lower loss of water vapor. The answer is B. Most tomata are closed. This is all because most tomata are closed. Next question. Statements 1 to 4 describe stages in the development of cholera. What is the correct sequence of the four stages? Cholera is caused by bacteria, so toxins are produced by the pathogenic bacteria would be number one. Then chloride ions are secreted into the gut and osmosis occur. Then an infected person becomes dehydrated. So the answer is four one two three, which is C. Next question the diagram shows some part of the human body. Which statement about organs X and Y is correct? Y is the large intestine, while X is the small intestine. Mm. The small intestine and the large intestine both actually absorb water, but small intestine absorb more water than large intestine. Most absorption. Of water happens in the small intestine. So it should be A. X absorbs more water from food than Y. Next question Which sequence describes the pathway taken by water as it moves through a plant? So it starts from the root hair cell, so it's not P, not C, then to the root cortex cell, to xylem and mesophyll, so the answer should be D. It's not from the xylem to root cortex cell, so can't be A. Next question, the diagram shows a plant at different times of year, at the start, at stage 1. Stage 1 is at the start of the growing season, the plant uses the food reserve stored in the bulb for the growth of shoots and leaves. Then at stage 2, later in the season, the leaves of the plant photosynthesize and the food reserves in the bulb are replaced. What is the role of the bulb during stage 1 and stage 2? Sink is the region of storage. All the regions where they are used in respiration or growth. While the source is the regions of production. So at stage one, stage one, the bulb is acting as the region of production. So it's the source. Then 
Then at stage 2, it is the sink where they are used in growth. Ooh. Skin. Sink. So you answer C. Next question, how does blood enter the heart? The blood enter the heart through the vein. Arteries are away from the heart. And through veins into the atria. Atria is the upper portion. Then ventricle is the lower one. you go from the vein into the atria and into the ventricle? The answer is C. Next question, what is the sequence of organs that blood passes through during one circulation of the body of a fish? So a fish has a single circulatory system, meaning that it only passes through the heart once in one cycle. So it couldn't, it wouldn't be C. The answer should be A from muscle to heart to gill to muscle.